Okay, seems like in modern times, uh, lately, everyone wants to go with this black box with the embossed craziness and all the metal and all that stuff. Illusionist is no different. Here is the Sultan um, Republic deck review. Now, this one is very nice. It's a, a very simple um, box design. Okay, quality or casino quality I should say and then at the bottom it says high quality playing cards um, eh. sweet designed in Canada so I think that uh, Pete McKinnon designed these I could be wrong He's pretty nice Sultan Republic okay nice I like them very much then Illusionist.com, the Sultan Republic. And then you've got here the United States Playing Card Company, their stuff. Okay, Sultan Republic, and there's the back. Now you've got the uh, custom Sultan Republic deck seal. All right, and the back design here. If you open this up, it says nothing, but it is embossed with the metallic inks. Join the Sultan Republic. Okay. Now, before I get to the cards, um, I noticed something when I opened up the box the first time. There's... It's, like, embossed on this side, but then I looked in, and I, I, I can't show it really well on the video, but uh, there's something written. Let me see if I can get even a glimpse of it right there. Something written on the inside. Of the tuck box so I tried to um, to see what that was actually here let me just pause the video and it'll jump a sec all right so I'm back and uh, for you guys I went ahead and destroyed my Sultan Republic box yeah who loves you me and uh, you'll see that on the bottom flap there's some numbers that's probably for the Sultan treasury treasure hunt which is over now, and uh, there's this, and it says illusionist.com slash sultan shirt, shirts available at, a, at private URL, so there are some Sultan Republic t-shirts that you can order, but anyway, back to the cards, so you've got here the key card, join the Republic, this is the uh, hieroglyphs that they put out the missing link okay and basically that says um, oh what was it something box so you have to look in the box to find that um, and we've got the ad card from illusionist now let me just turn it over this way. So now you've got the Sultan Republic Jokers. They're both the same. Okay. US Playing Card Company. Joker Joker. You've got the Ace. Beautiful Ace. Love it. Love that feather to it. Looks gorgeous. Okay. And then you've got the two. And the two has like little lines on it. You can see it on the video comes up pretty well. Three has those lines on the spades, looks really nice. Five, the middle one does not, which is kind of weird, but hey. Six is good. Seven, the middle one does not. Eight, the middle two do not. Nine, the middle one does not. Ten, the middle two do not. And then you've got the jack here that's got the lines on those index pips. Queen. It's all uh, muted coloring, which is nice. And then the Ace of Diamonds is solid. Then you've got the diamonds that have the fade or the missing color on the back, which looks nice. I think that would have looked nicer on these as well, but kind of like th two different design styles going on here. The middle one is standard or full. Okay. Then you've got the Jack of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, King of Diamonds. King of Clubs, again, with those lines, Queen of Clubs, Jack of Clubs, the lines going. I don't know, it would have looked nice if they kept it 
the, pretty consistent. So the red cards would have the white background and the black cards would have half with the black and white background, but you know, whatever. And then you've got the ace of clubs, solid ace. And then the hearts again, just like the red diamonds have the white backgrounds for the pips. All right, go through and then you've got the ace of hearts, which is solid. And now you've got the back. Now let's flip these over again and uh, check out the back design. Very nice. I love it. It's that feather. If you look quickly, it kind of looks like a bird. Sort of looks like the symbol from uh, Hunger Games. But hey, you know. Um, and yeah, there's tons of tons of arrowheads. Uh, arrowheads up here and down here, I guess. There's leaves. There's spades in the middle. A lot of detail here. Um, and at the same time, it's quite simple. So it's a very nice deck, very nice back design. Let's test for one-wayness. The uh, Ten of Diamonds is reversed. Crap, I lost my place on it. So let's see here if I can see a one-way design this way. I don't think so. Let me quickly do a riffle test. Nope, as far as I can tell, it is not a one-way back design. So let me just quickly reverse the Ten and be done with that. It is a really, really, really nice deck of cards. One of my favorites. Um, Illusionist has, in all honesty, has yet to disappoint with the deck release. For me, other than I think the 1800s were probably their weakest, oh, crap, their weakest deck. Um, very nice, but, you know, nothing crazy awesome about those. I love the Infinity. I love the uh, Artifice. I love the... Um, Wow, what else was just recently released? Fathom, which really the deck review is coming soon. Um, everything Illusionist puts out is gold, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, a little sneak peek. Yes, I did solve the treasury. I've got these as well. Got about a dozen of those, or nine or so of those. If anyone is interested in trading or picking some up. And those, I've got about four or five. Um, I think, actually, three three or six i don't remember either way i've got both of them available for trade or sale if you're interested just let me know deck review for these ones coming soon